The Mandalorian Season 2 has kicked off. I just finished watching the first chapter, and I liked it quite a bit. I don't want to spoil too much, but there's some really cool stuff in the episode. And there's a really, really good cameo at the end of the episode. So I don't want to say what happens because I'm sure a lot of you are going to go watch it. But you're going to see some very familiar props show up really early in the episode. And you'll know it's not that person right away because of how skinny how skinny the actor is compared to the original. But don't worry. It all pays off at the end. I liked it. I thought it was a lot of fun. Uh, I love the way that they use practical effects in this. And you, know, you get a lot of diverse aliens, which is something that the that the Disney trilogy never did. They were so busy trying to cram in all kinds of different looking humans. They forgot about the aliens. That was one of my biggest complaints with the Disney trilogy. Other than it was just dog crap. Mandalorian, thankfully, is not trash. It's a fun show. Uh, I, I still don't think you're getting like a masterpiece of Star Wars, but you're getting a lot of fun, and you're getting really good Star Wars, which I think is great. I don't know how this will hold up as the season goes, but I really enjoyed the last season. Can they make the magic happen again? You know, that's a that's a question that I'm sure will be answered in the in the next couple coming episodes. It ends, I think, sometime around December 6th. We're getting eight chapters, and then it's over. And then season three and four, I'm sure, will be coming really quick. According to uh, Mr. Overlord DVD, uh, Victor Van Doemkak, uh, they're doing some crazy groundbreaking filming for season three and four, like in a bubble. So we should get it quickly. I, I just want them to keep pumping this out, as long as it's good. So season two, as long as season two is good. Uh, I hope they keep making more. Now, what's the talk about here? Well, of course, I'm sure re you remember. I'm sure you remember all of the nonsense going on with Gina Carano and Rosario Dawson. You remember all of that nonsense that happened over the summer. Well, with any trending thing, and I'm sure the Mandalorian is going to trend today. It's going to be big news today. Everyone's going to be talking about it. Activists like to use this opportunity to share out their grievances. And sure enough, yesterday, on the 29th of October, an article dropped. Now, this was done for a purpose. This is before this person even watched the first episode of season two, The Mandalorian. They did this before it even dropped. They did that for a reason. So this would show up and people would come see it. Now, what's going on here? Why is this person upset? Why are they angry with The Mandalorian? Well, you guessed it, representation for sure. You need more of it. You need more of it. And they're not happy that there's not enough. <laughs> they would go on to praise Star Trek Discovery. Yes, that show uh, that is absolute dog shit. Star Trek Discovery sucks. That show is terrible. Right at the end, watch, before we get into the good stuff. Uh, they go on to talk about how well it's got more. It's got more representation. You got not binary character like that makes the story better. Okay, that's all shoehorned into the show too. By the way, this shows Star Trek. They should call it Star Trek Identity Politics. Is what they should call it instead of Discovery. Man, you know, going off a little bit of the Mandalorian here, I was going to shelve that for a second. Discovery sucks, and the thing about Discovery is you could have just ignored it because it was originally like uh, just a crappy prequel. Then they went like a thousand years into the future and the Federation is destroyed. Don't worry, don't watch it. It's, it's, a, it's a shit show. And now it's like, okay, well, you loved, you loved Voyager, you loved DS9, you loved Next Generation, you love Kirk and the old crew. Guess what? All that they did doesn't matter. Because the Federation is destroyed because of the burn and all this stuff. This show sucks. Like, they found a way to somehow make, you know, everybody hate this show. People that like the later seasons, the older seasons. Like, you can't just ignore this show now. Hopefully, they'll say it's in some alternate universe. But because it's got a uh, trans character and a non-binary character, uh, the show is amazing. That's it. It doesn't matter about the story. That's the reason the show is amazing. Uh, and The Mandalorian sucks because... 
It doesn't have a character like that, and it desperately needs one. That's why the show is garbage, and uh, you shouldn't watch it. But the reason this article even gets written is because of Gina Carano, who never said she hated anybody, never said anything istophobic. All right, how many people lost their mind because she put beep bop boop in her pronoun section on on Twitter? That's what she put on there. And because of that, everyone lost their mind. So this is another example. Say, okay, Mandalorian's trending. We're going to go ahead and blast Gina Carano, who didn't even do anything, who never attacked anybody, who never said anything nasty. But we're going to go ahead and go in and go after her with this big, long thing. And what's funny here, this is what's funny. Gina Carano uh, never gives an example of anything nasty. Let's go ahead and click on uh, these jokes that she made on Twitter. Okay. Let's take a look. Oh, what do we got here? An independent article. Star Wars Mandalorian star Gina Carano accused of mocking people with boop, bop, beep pronouns joke. Right. It's a joke. It's a joke. Why aren't we, why aren't we allowed to joke with people? Why can't you know we make some jokes? And that's not targeting anybody. It, <laughs> it didn't target anybody. But of course, you know, we need to crucify her and put her up and uh, make sure she never is capable of eating food again. She needs to be kicked out of out of Hollywood. And then we move on to Rosario Dawson, who, by the way, is not even confirmed to be in the show. Now, the big rumor is that she's a Soka Tano, and she probably is. I think there's enough momentum there. They're just not saying anything because they don't they don't want to confirm it because they don't want to ruin the joke or they don't want to ruin the appearance. But here's the thing. So check it out. So Dawson got accused of uh, being mean to someone. And the thing of it is, the only evidence of it is the accusations the person is making. I like how they put in here, as of October 9th, 2020, the lawsuit remains pending. This person right here uh, is suing Rosario Dawson's family. But the only evidence the person has is a bunch of accusations. The, the lawsuit's not going to hold up. It's going to get destroyed uh, simply because it's nothing but accusations, as far as I've seen. I've looked into it a little bit. But because of that, that's enough to say this person is canceled. You don't even need evidence. You just need accusations. I mean, that's been going on for a long time. I like how they put it. Carano remains unapologetic. <laughs> good she should be she doesn't deserve she doesn't need to say sorry for making a joke she didn't hurt anybody so annoying so mandalorian trends let's go ahead and attack people with no evidence whatsoever and then say star trek discovery is great so that's that's your complaint in a nutshell uh i very much enjoyed mandalorian uh season two opener and i'm looking forward to the rest of it it's nice to have something to look forward to again as far as entertainment goes. Uh, I think this show is great. If you like Star Wars, uh, you can watch this and ignore the Disney trilogy. That's a nice thing. You can't ignore it because it sucks. Uh, you can pretty much just watch this. A lot of references. They reference the Death Star. They go to Tatooine, by the way. Uh, I think that that's fun. There's a lot of fun stuff in this. So check it out. Uh, look forward to more Salt. Uh, especially when Gina Carano finally pops up in the show. Everyone's going to lose their damn minds again as soon as that happens, and that's going to be some fun salt as well. Should be fun. I'm sure they'll be calling for Mandalorian to become a woman uh, by the end of the season or Boba Fett to become a woman. Now, there was rumors that Boba Fett's going to become a woman, and after watching this episode, some of those rumors kind of make sense now. We'll see what happens. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Also, if you would, please like and share the video. Make sure you still subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out.